Because of the Gulf of Mexico, the Rio Grande Valley has always been an important place for importing and exporting things all over the world. And no doubt, crime has always been a part of the dealings at sea. That includes robbery by pirates going back to the 1800s. In tonight's Throwback Thursday, we learned that one of the world's most famous pirates made his way through the RGV. Here's KVEO's historian, Jean Fernandez. Brenda? We've got to tread lightly in this part of the country because there's rumor that there are pirates about and the ghost of Jean Lafitte in particular. Now, he was definitely in this area. We are here in Laguna Vista and behind me is Lafitte's well. As with any good pirate, there's all kinds of obscurity that is built around where he was born. He was either born in Bordeaux, France, or Santo Domingo, which is modern day Haiti, and all that. One thing is for certain, he and his family unit as a young boy he traveled from Santo Domingo, Haiti, to the New Orleans area uh, in the 1820s. He and his brother, Philippe, took on a, an immediate business of piratry, and he became very, very good at it. The one island that he settled on was Barataria, and it was perfect for piratry. And he was a thorn in the side of the U.S. Customs Agency at, at the time because he would bring your merchandise in that should have been embargoed by the Embargo Act of 1808, and he would slip it into Barataria and then send it out by Piros into the New Orleans area without paying duty. All right, well, he gained the ire of Gro Governor Claiborne, but that there, were, there was a war coming on with the British, and Andrew Jackson was sh smart enough that he took this man and his crew and his boats and all that and they became the united states navy and they saved new orleans after the uh the period where they no longer were at war with britain and all of that the next war on the horizon was mexico with spain he was hired on by spain to be a spy against mexico then of course as any good pirate would do he switched around got to the point where he was robbing spanish vessels on his way down through here now at the time he came through there was 1821 1822 in that range there it was very very primitive here and on the old charts there are four wells this was one of them he had to have drunk at water at, and his men at this well the slipway there at Brazos Santiago was perfect for piratry because you could come in and you can go on out and do whatever uh, marauding that you needed to do. But his real resting place in this area, his home, was at Baghdad. Baghdad, on the mouth of the, of the river, of the Rio Grande, was perfect for pirating because he could go in, up the river, and settle and whatever. The waters of this gulf here were very, very lucrative for Jean Lafitte. The, uh, actually, the revolution of Spain with Mexico cut off his lifeline, though. You're talking about 1821. There were no longer the treasure vessels going around the coast and then back to Mother Spain. So he said, I'm going to go for greener pastures. He came through here, and it went on into, of course, to Baghdad and then the Caribbean. The likelihood of you being, say, intercepted by a pirate's vessel is, was pretty good in those days. And the rest is history. For KVEO News, I'm Eugene Fernandez. What will you do with a drunken sailor? What can you do with a drunken sailor? What can you do with a drunken sailor? Way up.